Spanish Touring Cars now from Estoril. We're at round four of the Spanish Touring Car Championship. And it's the mid-season point. There's been quite a long summer break, but now they come to Portugal for the next round in the championship. It's the championship leader, Jordi Genet, who's taken quite a few victories in the championship so far, who's on pole position. He's had four wins this season. Joan Vignes is alongside him in the other Audi. Then Pedro Chavez, third on the grid, the BMW, and Pedro Chavez, Portuguese driver, on home ground here. Great start from Chavez, and a terrible start from Joan Vignes. Joan Vignes in the second Audi, very slow away. I think Jordi Genet is just going to hold on to the lead as they turn into the first corner. But coming up into third place is the Nissan of Luis Perez Sala. Vignes in fourth position, then Luis Villamil and Eric van der Poel in the second of the Nissan Primeras. So Jordi Genet controlling the pace here. He was the winner of the opening round in Harama. He won both races in Albacete and won one of the races in Barcelona as well, and it looks as though Jordi Genet with a comfortable championship lead is heading off for another victory, but heading off the track is Luis Perez Sala. He locked up on a braking there, that's lost him a couple of places, and Sala drops back now behind Luis Villamil. So he's in fifth position now, and that's cost him a valuable time. Joan Vignes is running in third place, but it looks as though it's going to be the victory for Jordi Genet once again. Jordi Janay coming through out of the final corner to take victory. The fifth win of the season for the Spaniard and second place for Pedro Chavez in the BMW M3. Third for Jean Vignes. Fourth place for Luis Villaville and fifth position in the end for Luis Perez Sala in the first of the Nissans. So Jordi Janay on the top step and the Audi's going well, but can they do it again in the second race? Another start, and it's a great start again from Pedro Chavez, although he just seemed to lose a little bit of that initial surge as he changed up through the gears as the Audi got going. And Jordi Genet in the Audi just ahead still as Chavez in the BMW slots into second, then Luis Villamil in the Opel into third position. Joan Vignes in fourth place in the other Audi. And you can see that Chavez is keeping the pressure on Jordi Genet. There is Chavez. Portuguese driver, he raced in the British Formula 4 Championship many moons ago. And uh, this is him now challenging for the lead. He's got around the outside and Chavez goes into the lead here at Estoril. On home ground, Pedro Chavez, who, uh, as I say, raced Formula 4. He went into Formula 3000 directly from Formula 4 some years ago and then tried to get into Formula 1. It never quite uh, worked successfully, but Chavez in great form here. And leading as coming up in second place, Luis Villamil now passing. Jordi Genet as well. So Villemel and the Vauxhall Vectra moves into second place. And Genet seems to be in some sort of trouble. He's losing out a bit here. You can see that uh, Genet, his car not working quite as well as uh, we've seen in previous races. In fact, he's uh, being pushed now by Juan Vignes. Vignes goes past. Jordi Genet struggling around in this second race, having won the first race very easily indeed, so obviously some sort of problem for the Spaniard. Chavez is coming through though, this is his first win of the 1996 season and isn't it good to do it on home ground? Portuguese driver wins in Estoril, ahead of Luis Villamil in second place for Opel, third place for Joan Vignes, Jordi Genet just holding on to fourth from Luis Perez Sala in fifth position. And Genet though, with us still a very comfortable championship lead, the next round is in Calafat.